to unbox and thoroughly test out the OnePlus Nord 2 5G for you guys. For some reason, we have never tested out a OnePlus device on our channel. Right from the OnePlus One, we went for the Mi 4 instead. Anyways, here we are, better late than never, with the Nord version 2. And we'll be seriously checking out its structural build quality, scratch resistance capability on both sides, and its drop impact resistance. Some initial good news, the OnePlus Nord 2 at least feels sturdy in my usual trial bend, unlike the massive fail of the Nord 1 in Zach's video. Apart from some attractive looking red stuff and the SIM ejection tool, a good quality semi-transparent plastic case is also given free inside the box. The typical red color themed USB Type-C cable and a super fast 65W warp adapter supposed to charge the 4500mAh battery in 30 minutes. The OnePlus Nord 2, like all other brand devices, under BBK Electronics, also comes with a pre-applied plastic screen protector, recommended to be replaced by tempered glass. We're going to test the scratch resistance quality on both sides of the Nord 2, with some common items and a heavy duty blade. The blade is the most important tool as it has exposed poor quality tempered glass protection on several occasions, especially on cost cut Oppo and Realme budget devices. Each and every mid-ranger as well as flagships we have tested with frosted glass backs has also managed to fail the blade with permanent light marks. Though the back glass on the Nord 2 has a glossy finish so it should be doing better than frosted glass. The blade though isn't able to make any difference or scratch damage against high quality tempered glass protection like Corning. As expected from a premium level device like Nord, the tempered glass on both sides passes the scratch test due to the use of genuine corning glass. Next up, moving on to fun stuff with value. The bend test of the Nord 2 will give you some solid video proof about its structural build quality and whether or not it is as weak as a Nord 1 like it was proved in Zach's video. Until now, BBK devices have generally done well in the build department and the same is expected of the Nord 2. Just a bit of flex degree when pressure was applied from the front side and a slight bend angle but as of now, it does seem to be handling the force pretty well. The backside bend angle is even less than the first bend. Seems to be no chance of any kinks, tiny breaks on the plastic mid-frame or glass shatter on either side. Frankly, there was some nervousness at the start because of the enormous failure of the OnePlus Nord 1, the first time that a OnePlus had failed. But this time, they have learned the lesson well and given us a super solid, well-built device in the Nord 2. Next up, the drop test from four different angles and two heights will give you the drop impact resistance of the Nord 2. First drop from pocket height, bottom edge down. Will the back glass be able to handle a drop from pocket height?
the OnePlus Nord 2 5G is able to handle all pocket drops without any shatter or marks on the plastic edges. Next up, 1.6 meters high drops, bottom edge facing down. The first signs of some damage, the plastic edge is not able to handle high drops with a permanent light mark and discoloration. This time again a permanent mark suffered at the top left side though a bit lighter than the first one. Next, third high drop, triple camera unit and glass back facing down with live video capture. Can the back glass on the Nord 2 survive a high drop? No further marks, dents or shatter on the glass back and the camera unit glass and frame. Next up, the last finale high drop you have been waiting for, the fluid amulet display facing down. The last two amulet devices we drop tested, the A12 and the F22, both ended up with dead amulet displays. The Nord 2 has managed to erase all bad memories of the Nord 1, especially in terms of structural integrity and besides the two permanent marks at the top and bottom edge that can be prevented by a case, it has proved its drop impact resistance by passing the drop test. Wow! It's a leg? Wow! Throw it. Absolutely pinpoint!